Yeah. Hey, everybody, it's the program. Here we are on TV. Once a day, every day. <laughs> yep. Turn on the machine, start talking. Uh, we're going to be here for an hour. It's, we're having Andre times. Andre, it's the program. You been drinking? Is that what you're saying? Or? <laughs> no. We're just having Andre times. Andre. Andre. Andre Saturday. Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. Good. When was the last time you were here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Last week? Last Saturday? Yes, actually. I forgot about that. So you're here. You, you take Lewis's spot. It's your second Saturday in a row. For today. It's episode 1008. Whoa. How was the week there? It's pretty good. I watched the episode with where Ashley and James were on the phone, and I had a pretty enjoyable time. It uh-huh. was p- pretty funny. Oh, the one where they were cursing <laughs> and stuff? Yeah, it's pretty funny. Did they watch it? Do you know about that? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not positive. Um, yeah, I don't know. Have you been talking to them? Um, I talked to James. He, um, he told me that he watched the one where I was on the phone. Uh-huh. But, um, he didn't, he hasn't, I don't think, I don't know if he's watched, uh, the one where he was on the phone. You think he's going to be upset about that, or? Mm, no, I don't know. He was, he was pretty much, uh, aware uh-huh. of when he was on the phone, oh, so. Oh, okay. He, you yeah. don't think he was, like, messed out or drunk or no. something? No. Oh, okay. I don't know if he was drunk, but he, I don't, he didn't do math. You, you don't think he's going to relapse after you don't, he didn't know your support? Mm, no. I don't know. I've being hopeful. Uh, I think he's pretty good, though. Have you been hanging out with him at all since since uh, last week, or? Um, I've seen him a few times. Um, cause we're gonna go to the Grand Canyon, and so when we got in that fight, mm-hmm. um, he, I paid for everything, but he paid for his ticket, three hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So I gave him back the money, but now he's gonna go with me. So he, I saw him when he gave me the money back. <laughs> after I give it back to him. So you, you decided to make up because you're going to go on this trip together again still? Yeah, it was like planned for around us, so it'd be weird if someone else went with me because, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. So, you're, so you're friends again? Yeah. You're going to go on this trip, it's not going to be weird? The trip's not going to be weird now? No, because we were friends for a long time before that, so oh, okay. we know how to be friends. That's good. Yeah. Yes. Don't listen to the message I left you. <laughs> Don't listen to it. Yes. Is it is it mad one or what? It's not it's not really mad, but it's like I thought you were gonna be here at nine thirty. I'm trying to load this thing up. I don't know if maybe the internet is not working upstairs or something. I might is have to go on? I might have to go flip the internet switch up there. Um well it looks like it should be on. I don't know what's going on with it. You see anything on the streets there in the last week? Um Uh yes, I saw something. What was it? I don't know. I think I forgot. Um, Think hard. um, Think hard now. Yeah, I don't don't recall. Um, I I did some errands today. Oh, yeah? How was that? It was pretty fun. What Um, did you do? Buy buy groceries? No. Do you laundry? Go to the laundromat? No, I got a washer and dryer in my house. Uh-huh. Um, I went to the mall. Yeah. And... Like mall? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, did some business there. Returned some things. And I, I, we, I went to this... You're always returning stuff. <laughs> I remember you were trying to return some stuff like before. Yeah, I changed my mind frequently. Kind of. Your shoe. You're trying to return your shoes last time or something, right? Yeah, I thought, like, I thought I liked them, and then I changed my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I changed my mind. Um, but I went to this place, this Thai place, and usually when I get Thai, it's like brown in color. Uh huh. And I ordered like a le- level one spice, mm-hmm. and it, when it came out, it was red. Uh huh. And it was really spicy. I was, I was disappointed. 
You were, were you overwhelmed with the spice? Yeah, it, it was too much. Can you not handle spice too well? Um, not really. Did you did you complain to them or did you just uh, suck it up? Well, we said that it was too. We ordered a one, and uh -huh. it came out red, and I knew that was weird. Uh huh. She was like, she just kind of. When we said that it was really hot, she just kind of like brushed it off. She's like, no. Yeah. She was like, yeah. She was like, no. She was like, I have problem with spices too, but when you say one, they think they don't. You know, I don't know. She just made it. Should have ordered a zero. I know. I told my friend Jamie that, and she was like. That doesn't exist. <laughs> and I was like, are you sure? It might. I think if you ask them, they'll understand what it means at least, though. Like to not put anything yeah, spicy. Yeah, just tell them no spices at yeah. all. Yeah. I wish I did that, but Jamie likes spice. She mm -hmm. At first, she wanted to get a two. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that I would not have eaten that if it yeah. was a two, if it was that spicy as a one. Did you eat the one anyway, even though it was too spicy, you thought? Um, I ate some of it. And she did too, and her eyes even started watering, and her nose started running because it was so hot. Oh, man. Yeah. It was, it was unfortunate. Was that today? Yeah. Did you tell her about the program? I did. She watched, uh, she actually watched a little bit of the episode uh, with uh, where Ashley and James were on the mm -hmm. phone, and she was like, oh, my gosh, because she's, um, she just, she doesn't agree with Ashley at all. Uh -huh. She was like... She was so shocked. It was so funny. Is she, is she a church person? Yeah. She was like, "What is she talking about? I don't. I can't even. I can't even understand her." Yeah. She was very enraged. Blind yeah. Rage, blind rage, maybe. Yeah, like those people who like get mad and they forget what they're doing because they're like mm -hmm. so enraged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you? Have you talked to her at all? Ashley. Mm-hmm. Um. No, actually, no, I haven't talked to her at all, actually, but um, her, uh, this guy la named, this guy that was my friend in middle school just died, mm -hmm. and uh, he, did I tell you this? Uh, yes, we heard a little bit about it last week, I think, yeah. Yeah, he was my really good friend in middle school, and then I, like, we were friends on Facebook, and we would have, like, disagreements and stuff, and him and Ashley would always talk bad about me, mm -hmm. so, I don't know, that's kind of weird, but. Yeah, it's, he died. He. Uh, How did he die? He was longboarding down a really long hill at oh, Chambers yeah. Bay, and he somehow he hit something and flew off his board, and uh, a stick, a branch, went through his. Stomach. Oh. Dang. Yeah. yeah, it was very unfortunate, and it was just so weird because I just started talking to him again, and it was just like, and then he just died. So. Did you go to his funeral? No, I really wanted to. I heard there was a lot of people there, but I had to work, so oh. I couldn't go. And it was like open casket, and oh. I, I've never seen that, and so I kind of wanted to see yeah. it. But, uh, I mean, you could see this. Uh, they, they probably put a shirt on him so you can't see the hole in his No, yeah, anymore. but you can see his face. Yeah. Ooh, did Ashley go to that, though? Yeah. And James? No, James didn't know him that well. But I don't know, it's kind of weird when someone dies, because I actually kind of really knew him, so it's, it's, and I was just talking to him about Jesus, so, mm -hmm. or he was actually asking me about Jesus, so it's kind of, You think he's in heaven? Weird. I don't know. I don't know what his heart looked like. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. I think that's what I asked you last time, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so is, J is James still talking to Ashley, or are they still talking bad about you, you think behind your back, or anything like that? Um, Probably. Yeah. Um, I don't know, though, for sure, because I'm obviously not there, but um, I know they're talking. Um, she brought over, recently brought over a lot of laundry to his house to do. She brought laundry to his house? Yeah, because she's moving, and I guess she doesn't have a, her mom doesn't, in their, in their new apartment, they don't have a washer and dryer. But she lives in Lacey, right? She lives in Olympia. I know she has a washer and dryer there, but I don't know. She's she going to drive all the way to still come to do laundry? <laughs> Well, she's kind of living at her house in Lakewood now. Oh, she has a place in Lakewood, too, or? It's not her hers. It's, yeah, it's with her mom. She's moving back in with her parents? Yeah. Yes. Where, where was she living in Olympia? By herself, um, in this little place. But she couldn't afford it anymore? Mm. No, she could. Um, but her job is, uh, closer to Lakewood now. Oh. Yeah. But she had a really sweet deal. On the, it was uh, this, 
this school that she went to, she got a uh, really cheap rent. It was like 10% of her income. Oh, okay. So it changed, you know. Hey, look at that. It's time for the dice games. Get out a pen. We're going to get out a pen. Ooh. We're going to put our hand between 1 and 6. And then we're going to roll the dice. We're going to see. We're going to try to visualize the future. Or maybe we're going to try to pray. Pray for your number. Jesus. <laughs> Please, Jesus, let me roll the number that I pick. <laughs> let me win. If, you're, if, you are, uh, if you love us, Jesus, then you'll have me win the best game. No. This is a test of Jesus' love. Okay. We're both going to pick different numbers. So. Uh-huh. We'll pick different numbers, so whoever whoever wins, Jesus is loves. Jesus is favors, okay. <laughs> okay. Two. Not me. Not me. Oh, uh, Jesus. He doesn't love us. Jesus, why? Oh, my gosh. Why do you forsake us? It's, it's the Jesus. end of the world. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought I see you, Lewis did not take his picture. I thought you loved us. We thought so, but, but I guess not. He Just kidding. Uh, I think Jesus' I favorite number is 666. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> we got a message here. This one's from John Webster. We haven't heard from John Webster in a long time. Here it is. Whoa. You know about John Webster? You know who that is? No. Did he create the dictionary? Uh, I mean, the thesaurus or whatever? His family did. Really? Yeah, hey, sure. Hey, guess where I am today? I've got the... I've got the... Uh, uh, the deal. Gay uh, pride. Today. So why don't you come down... Why don't you come down and see, see me, uh... Why don't you come down and see... Uh, come down to the pride thing, uh... Uh, today. I would have liked to. Hey, tell us how to call. Call, please, uh, Kitty. Bye-bye. Uh, bye, John. Did you, uh, do you, like, get the Gay Pride Day? You know, it's Gay Pride Month. Whoa. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, me and my friend Brittany went a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Two, one, two, yeah. It was cool. There was this guy, I remember, it's really weird, there was this guy, she, Brittany was, like, getting some, we, oh, yeah, we were both getting ice cream, and there was this guy working in the, one of the ice cream booths, and he, like, kept staring at me and then like I walked away and then I looked back in there and he was still staring and it was so weird uh -huh. I was like oh I thought you were supposed to be gay but people who work there are gay right or no not not uh, they don't have to be oh. <laughs> I was very confused I think I I was working there one time oh really it's, yeah you don't have to be gay to work there but it's uh you have to be I think proud so yeah I'm proud pr proud of you <laughs> uh, and I have pride thanks for them uh, <laughs> I support them, but uh, that was I didn't get to make it today. But I, I wish I had to, I had the demo burgers there. Oh, I was on the show last Pride, cause you brought burgers. Yeah, it was possible. A, it was like an outside day. Mhm. Mm and you were getting some burgers. I remember that. Yeah, and Desmond was there, and that guy that like was on the skateboard or the handstand. Uh, Derek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I and remember that. That was yeah. a good time. Yeah, and the couch was outside. Bird sent us a text. Bird says, Gay Pride today. And Solstice Parade in Seattle with naked bike riders. Mmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know about I've that? I've seen them. Yeah, I saw them. Uh, you saw the naked bike riders? Not today, but I saw them uh, like a year ago or something, and um, they were all just like laying out in the grass with their bikes in front of them. Is that, is that holy? You think naked. that's unholy? Um, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't really think that's uh, Jesus' goal for them. He probably has some, some better ideas. Is there, is there a mention of not being naked in the Bible? Um, yeah. And thou, thou shalt wear thy pants. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to show everyone your body. But, yeah. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, yeah, and I saw this girl one time. I saw this girl at Pride, and she was sitting crisscross applesauce, naked, eating top ramen. And it, there was a police standing right next to her, and he, he didn't even say anything. Yeah, well, if the police do anything at those kind of events, they would they would have to do something to everyone. Yeah, they would get a bad rap. Everybody would be 
very mad. Yeah. Like, yeah. So they and it wouldn't be f- fair at all, because they couldn't get everyone, and everyone's doing something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but it's... Hey, uh, uh, um, Jenny. Hey, John. Speaking. Uh-huh. I called you down, down, down at the... Uh, down at the Pride thing, Cap- mm-hmm. Capital City Pride mm-hmm. thing. Yes. You missed, you missed a good uh, thing. Uh, you missed a good uh, uh, thing. So give, give me a call, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, John, we'll call, let's call him back. John. There's lots Thanks. of Johns yeah. out there. I'm glad John is out there supporting mm-hmm. the, uh, the, the Olympia gay community. Yep, don't be mean. Don't be mean, yeah. Be the opposite of mean. Be supportive towards them. It's good it's good for society and for everybody. Be kind. Yeah, I always wanted to get a burger. I gotta wait for uh, I think Blake for her to get those demo burgers now though. When, oh yeah, Lake first coming up though. Mm-hmm. When? In July, I think. Yeah. Are you guys gonna do the show there? Maybe, I don't know. Can we get out? Hello? Hi. John. My name is John Webster. John. And, and if you want to give me a call, call me at the... Uh, oh. At my cell phone at... Oh, my cell phone. Oh. 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 Thank you. And I'll get... And I'll get... And I'll get to you on, on my cell phone, or if you want to call me on my home phone, call, call, uh, call me on uh, 459. Oh. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> John, a really weird message. It's long, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, it's still there? Yeah, we're yeah. for a beep. He didn't. I think he I forgot. He was so excited about Pride. God, th- is this you or is this a message still? <laughs> he was so excited about Pride. He forgot. Oh, there, hey, it. John, your message is really long. Do you know that? I don't know if you do. Um, it's the program. We're calling you. We're on TV. Thanks for calling. And uh, how was Pride Day? What did you see out there? Do you see any uh, flamboyant costumes? How about some, do you see any drag queens? Mmm. You get a demo burger? How about some hamburgers? Yeah. How's that stuff? You can call us back. Yeah. To send your message, press 1 at any time. To listen to your message, How's press this 2. <laughs> to re-record the whole... Hey, John. Your message is really long, you know that? I don't know if you do. Um, it's a program on you on TV. Thanks for calling me. Uh, how was Friday? Did Message sent. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Thank Goodbye. you. You're welcome. Thank you, robot. Goodbye. That was his voicemail? I thought that was his message. That was his... Um, what do you mean? Like his voicemail, like you called him and that was his voicemail, like both yeah, of his yeah, numbers? Yeah, we called him, that was his voicemail. Oh, voice I now. thought that was his message. What do you mean his message? Like, he was like, if you... Yeah, hey, program, call me back at da 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 And if you can't, if I don't answer that, call me da 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 That was... Oh, no, 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 that was his voicemail. Yeah. It was a weird one. Mm-hmm. He has a weird voicemail, for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we, we shouldn't listen to the message that you left us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Because you said something that's not valid anymore. Yeah. Okay, well, then we got another message here from Liam. Liam. Liam Downey. Whoa. Here it is. Here's Liam Downey's message. Here it is. Hey, see, it's Liam Downey here with another series of video game news. Oh, video with game Liam news. I've had these in years. The PlayStation 4 is coming out. The Xbox One is coming out. Half Life 3? Who knows? That's been another edition of video game news with Liam Downey. Bye, Kenny. Cool. Oh, uh, thanks, Liam. What is it about the play? What is it about the Xbox? It's coming out. It's already out. The Xbox One. Hey, it's info time. Oh, two, one. 
No, no it's in for time. You are some answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's a call-in television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It is every 1130, 20, every episode airs each week after, so it's taped on... You're watching 11.30 p.m. This episode taped on the same weekday of the previous week. If you are watching at 2 a.m., if this episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year, you can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can be on the program, especially you. You need to call in so we can tell you, so you can tell us about what happened in your life. Okay. Now back to the program. Thank you for watching. Uh... <laughs> Improv, improv time in there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, you stick, to, you stick to the script. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's hard. That's uh, okay. Good job. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's all the messages that we got today. Except for your message. You don't yeah. Think we should listen to your message. Yeah, I didn't say anything bad, but I was just like, it's 11.30. I mean, 10.30. <laughs> uh-huh. Where <laughs> the hell are you? <laughs> Where the hell are you? That's not very Jesus-like. I thought you were sleeping, and so I was like, are you kidding me? He fell asleep. I'm going to be sitting here forever. No, I was late. Okay. I had reasons. Yes. Should we call James? Sure. Tell him you're here? He already knows. Oh, he does? I called him, uh, and was like, oh, Kenny's late. Did you try to invite him on the program? I did. I invited him a few times to come, but um, he doesn't want to. Okay. Are you calling him? Yes, we're calling <laughs> James. We're going to say, how you doing? How come you don't want to come on the program? No, oh, Kenny. Oh, what? I'm just... <laughs> you have a loop so bad. Oh, what am I supposed to say to him? Just ask him what he did today. Okay. Is he going to answer? Mm. Might be sleeping. Sleeping, huh? He's gonna go sleep this early. Doesn't isn't he a partier? No, he, he never parties. He just kicked or hangs out. You waste mailbox in of two. Five. Seven. It it already beeped. Oh, hey James, it's the program. It's Alex! Uh, happy Gay Pride! I, um, it's, uh, you want to call us back? You have about 35 minutes. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I was, I was convinced that James was uh, homosexual for a long time. Really? I mean, isn't it, he talked about it a lot before. He I told know. Me that he was. I, I watched. Program that he was. I watched episodes before of uh -huh. him first being on there, and he was. He seemed, he, he said he was bi still, but he seemed more like that, but uh -huh. now... Um, you think it was Jesus that? No, yeah. I don't know, but I think he maybe un understands himself a little bit better now. Okay. Because he's like grown up a little bit, and he stopped doing drugs and uh -huh. you know stuff. So, but um, yeah, he's. I think he's uh probably more straight. Okay. Than gay. Now, now he is. You, t you turned him. No, I didn't. But um. Yeah. He's just grown up a little bit. Okay. We're calling Freddy the producer now. Freddy the producer? You don't see how the production end is going here. Yeah. Uh, having Andre times. Hey, you've reached Freddy Dober. I can't come to the phone right now. But if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. Freddy. You can call us back. You have about 35 minutes. Call us back. We'll be looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. He usually talks on the phone for for a while. But yeah. He answers, so it's mm -hmm. pretty nice. I'm gonna try to call John Webster again. I think we could look, maybe look at his, um, his home phone. I think I have it saved somewhere. Okay. I wanted to ask him about how the parade was and stuff. Did they do that? Uh, did they have a gay pride event in Lakewood? No. <laughs> no, in Lakewood, all the guys are like, "Oh, you're fine." To like every girl. 
So, so well, I'm sure there's a lot of gay people in Lakewood too, though. Oh, John Walter tried to call us back, so. Cool. What do you say on this message, Jim? Yeah. Oh, Lakewood's um, it's a little different. I mean, there is gay people there, but it's not like it's not like there can be like. Oh, actually, no. I think there is actually. It's very small, and it's at this park. I forgot what's called like Tacoma Pride. Hi there, Jenny. This is John Rupert speaking. Would you, uh, you just called, so, and I, and I was down at the price, and you didn't call, the, you didn't call, uh, I didn't, uh, you should have been down there today, you know, Pride Day, down at the, down there. I'm uh, pretty sure you called, please. Now, Thank you. Sweet. Playing some phone tag here. Please. So fun. Phone tag here, so let's call, I guess we can call Freddie back first, or should we call John Webster back first? Who's going to stay up later? Uh, I think they're both going to stay up very late. John Wilkesner stays up to like, he watches a 2 a.m. episode often, so he's up to like 3 a.m. at least. Um, right. And I think Freddie will stay up pretty late too, but we're calling Freddie first. Freddie. Playing some phone tag. I know, he's not going to answer. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, if he doesn't answer, I guess we'll... Hey. Hey, Freddie, how you doing? Hello. Oh, I'm doing okay. It's okay? I've caught a cold. I've caught something anyway. Oh my gosh. Uh, like, oh. What are your symptoms? I have a, uh, I woke up with a pretty sore throat and as the day has been continuing, I've just been getting uh, more Worse. sore throat and had it like sinus really congested. I played a show out in the hot sun and maybe got a little heating heat stroke or exhaustion too, but... Oh, man. It's been a, been a wild day, but... Did you see the... Really I'm, yeah. so, so you you went to the Gay Pride Festival. People were messaging us about that. Oh, yeah, I did go to that. I, we, uh... I went down there about two or so because my uncle, or one or two, Uncle Dan went out to Pride and he was hanging out there for probably an hour before I got there. Uh-huh. And then my band played at 3.30. We just kind of kicked around for a while. Aww. Did you see any... Yeah, it was good. Did you see any drag queens? Drag queens? Yeah, man. That was the act right after us. It was called... Uh, there was, there was a, a troop. A troop of drag queens. And there was plenty of them walking around, too. They looked great. I think so. sometimes they, uh, they pull off the whole, like... Is it of womanhood even like stronger than some people who are all made up and are naturally women? Great. Oh. You have your own hot tub? Hello? You have your own hot tub? Did I do what? You have a hot tub. You have your own hot tub? No. That sounds awesome though. Yeah, why do you think he has a hot tub? What? I thought, you, <laughs> I thought you said that you were in the hot tub today and you got like heat exhaustion. In hot sun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be sweet though. I used to have my when my family lived in Vancouver, they had a hot tub. We used to soak in it, watch TV in the hot tub. That was a good time. But I'm reminisce. But no, not anymore. I know hot tubs. Yeah, we're having some Andre times today. Did you get a demo burner? Uh. I should have. I did not. I didn't have enough cash on me. Oh, yeah. Did you... Did, should have went and got some more. They were there, though? But, yeah. And they looked just as good as ever, man. Like, so good. I, I wish they had a real store for demo burgers. Somewhere. Yeah. That's why, I mean, I, 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 I do support the gay community, but I really wanted a demo burger. Hey, it's Bird. Yeah. Hey, Bird, how you doing? I'm doing good. Are you want to come over and say hi for what, here? What's so great about these demo burgers? I don't know. I just really I like got, them. I got some neighbors here who want to say hi. Oh, Bird's got some neighbors, he says. Yeah. Okay. Hey, neighbors. These are, these are the neighbors. Hi, neighbors. Hello. You want to come sit on the couch for a minute? Oh. Or, uh, no? Okay. You just want to see it? You want to? They're looking at the studio. You can say it. Ooh. Uh. The TV studio is part of the tour, huh? Yeah. Oh, Jenna's on tour with her in Europe with her band. Yeah, okay. One of their uh, neighbors. Oh, oh. No, oh, no, no. Bird? 
<laughs> we have, we're on our, no? Well, Bravo Bird. It's time for the dice game. Yeah, you can see this. They're not on camera. They're standing right outside the camera. We can see them, but you guys can't see them. That's a bird. Hi. Hi, we're talking to Freddie on the phone here. Freddie, the producer. I'm on the phone. Did you go to uh, Gay Pride today, Bird? I went to Seattle and saw the Solstice Parade in Seattle. The naked one? Yeah. Yeah. Was there a lot? It was a lot of naked people. Naked Parade. We're just watching. Yeah, in Seattle. Video of it upstairs right now. Of naked people? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we can show up. <laughs> Freddie's permission. Mm -mm. We're talking to. We're, we're just talking to Freddie. Questions. You can't. I mean, you can. You should ask us questions into the mic. No, he doesn't want. Uh, <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're talking to Freddie. Is it? Should be M and I can hear you guys, but my my oh. audio is not a very good indicator of what's going on the the tape. Yeah, it's time for. Well, it's time for the dice game. Anyway, here, we're going to play the dice game. Oh, what's, what is squealing now? I think it's that, that microphone. Uh, that mic is squealing? Yeah. All right, I'm well, going to try it. I don't know. Future. I don't know. Okay, here we go. We're going to play the... Oh, you guys want numbers? Yes. You want numbers for yeah, the dice game? Yeah, I want a four. I still have four on my hand from yesterday. Here. Four? Here. Bird's going to get a number. Red number in your hand. So, what... Uh, you think it's a little bit dangerous? I know that there was a naked bike parade in Portland that somebody else saw that was on the show, and I thought that riding your bike naked is a little dangerous. If you fall over, you can get a, you can get some gnarly road rash. Yeah, <laughs> very. Uh, hurt. On your genitals, yeah. maybe you know. <laughs> I don't know if they would fall right there. Maybe on their side. It's physics. It's unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> I fell off my bike and all injured with my genitals. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. The church, lady. <laughs> the church lady. Here, let's roll the. Roll, roll the next dice, Alex or Bird, somebody. Uh, we're gonna roll two. We're gonna roll two of them this time. Which ones? Either, either you can choose. Um, here we go. All right. Oh, five. Oh, oh dang. I want. Yeah. I have a uh, five. What did you have five? You have a five? Did you have uh, a six? Oh, you won two then. You're a winner. <laughs> I have a yeah. five. Okay. Uh, how many people were naked? Oh, Hundreds. Hundreds. Whoa. Is it? Is anyone wearing clothes and still riding their bike? Hello. Hello. Oh, it's, it's kind of gone. Hun hundreds of naked people, huh? Yeah. Was there anyone with clothes on there? Lots of people with clothes. Okay. What about helmets? No helmets. Oh. Um, something's going on wrong. They're going too slow for helmets. Oh. And that was there police. Whoa, no helmet. Is it, is it, I don't know if you ever going for that. Is this a, a government-sanctioned event? Because it seems like it's illegal for these kids, these people to be. Is there with naked people? I think it's technically illegal, but so that's that's fun. Maybe a few people are pushing obscenity law. Yeah. Obscenity law. Uh -huh. That oh yeah. That, you want to do that? Not today. Not today. Maybe in the future. In the future. Maybe in the future. She says. Okay. This. What number is this? One thousand. One thousand eight. One thousand eight. Yeah. One thousand eight. No, last Saturday was 1,001. Yeah, Bird's mic is not working too well. I'm going to try to get, let's get this bike going. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Consecutive daily shows. Oh, yeah, we, the 1,008 consecutive daily shows. How's the production end going there, Freddy? Oh, it's going pretty good. <laughs> yeah, um, last night. Yeah, episode 1000 and it went real well, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, I watched um, that. Is it going? Do you see some of that? I think the only thing that was hard to hear maybe was Dan's phone call. The other phone calls even sounded good, so yeah. I thought that went really well. Yeah. Today, Alex is going to be on the program, uh, right? Alex. Yeah, yeah Alex right here. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. 
a good well, one. Tonight, about tomorrow, tonight on the wow, you're, TV. Are you doing Saturdays now, Alex? Is this a Saturday thing? Is that a, a day that you're coming on the show now? Uh, maybe it might turn into that. Yeah. I don't know. They're camera shy. We brought some camera shy people in the studio. Yeah. Alright, this thing is going crazy. <laughs> I turned I turned the bird off there. Have a good TV show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 There, there they go. Um, so, like, production is going well? Bye. Yeah, I think so. Hey, I, I need to get, uh, I need to get the, the 1,000 up on, on YouTube, and I was trying to do that today, but I think I'll get it up tomorrow. Uh, it's just a Bye. matter of exporting. It's a big, big file. Um, so it's not going to be finished tonight, but it, it, it'll be up tomorrow, and then everything should be just flowing smooth as usual. Uh, All right. It's the only one um, this, this we have captured so far that doesn't have a YouTube made for it yet. So once we get it up there, 1001 and 2 and 3 and 4 and all those will be up soon, too. It's almost July. Today is the last day of June for the viewers here. Mmm. No, this summer is slipping by. Just yesterday it was yeah. uh, for us in the past was the solstice or something like that. I found out it was like the longest day of the year. Yes. It's flying by so fast. Today I saw the sunset at about, about 9.30. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. I hate, yeah, that's the thing about this, this day. I'll be in sick in the summertime. Is it's like so, you're missing so much daylight. Not even just normal. Like, if you're sick in the winter when most people get sick, you know, the flu season and stuff, at least you don't, you know, you're really only missing not that much daylight. But in the summer, it's just like clouds on and on, and you know that out there it's sunny and nice. And Yep, that's the thing. I have a question. I sick in the summertime, dude. Um, I watched the episode of that uh, band, Biological Lovers, and I was just wondering, are that boy and that girl uh, brother and sisters who love each other? No, I think they are a couple. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're a romantic couple. But are they biological? I think that's just the band. No, that's a play off of, that's a play of words. It's like, biological, wait, what is the thing? Do you know the, the play of words? Biological... Uh, Biological yeah. lovers. Oh, so yeah, just they explained it. They explained it. So I was asking them why it was biological too, but they might not have done it on the show. Oh, okay. I was kind of skipping through a little what's bit. Like, what's like the opposite of biological? Maybe, maybe it's like a reverse joke. Or like you thought there was, there was, you thought some incest? Yeah, I, thought, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was like, this is weird. But maybe they're just, maybe it's just their name. I'm not sure. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe you know, like the white, you know, the white stripes. Yes. You know how they were like yeah. people were. They're they, incest. They were putting. Well, there there was some rumors that it was incest or marriage or divorce or something. Or you know. Oh. Lots of rumors. Maybe the biological oh. lovers are trying to spurn some controversy. I actually watched one of their songs. Yeah, it's really creating confusion in order to create, you know, hype. Yeah. Not mm. a bad way to do it. Mm hmm They achieved that, because I, I was wondering. And I watched, I actually watched one of their uh, songs, and it was pretty good. Uh-huh. That was yeah, they did songs. You, yeah. I think they're, I'm they got the good keyboard. Maybe they're still in Europe. Yeah, I watched the one where they were, like, by a waterfall or something. Oh, you watched one of their songs off the program? Yes. Oh, okay. Because they played songs on the program, too. Yeah, but it's hard to understand the words. Does July have any significance yeah. for you? What are you going to do in July? Are you going to do the 4th of July? Me? Yes. Um, I'm going to Oregon for four days, and then I'm going to Las Vegas, and then Arizona oh for, yeah. s for seven days. So that'll be fun. Um, 4th of July, there's that parade out in Tumwater. Tumwater 4th of July parade. No, yeah, I've, not, I've never heard no, of that. I've seen Lacey. it. Lacey. Lacey or Tumwater, I can't remember. I don't know. What is it? Is that... Uh, is that Lake Fair Parade, or...? No, Lake Fair is later in the in July. I think it starts on the 17th or something. Mm. Did but, they do uh, fireworks? The, uh, there is a parade, which TV is going to be filming it, I think. Mm. I remember that. That's the July thing I know about. 
Oh, hey, it's on for commercial break. You gonna shoot break. up any fireworks, <laughs> Alex? You got any fireworks to shoot up? Yeah. It's time for a commercial break. I'll shoot some. Oh, okay. Now time for okay. a commercial break. Well. Dance, holy dance. Dance, holy dance. Live TV dance. When was this? When was this one? Long time ago? First Friday of each month. Time. 8 oh. p.m. to 9 p.m. Like any recent times? TCTV Studio A. Uh, Devil Girl is from one of the uh, episodes oh, yeah. where they did it at in the house, not at the TCV, so that's from like a year ago, or this year. Oh, they did them in a house before? It's happening again on the 29th, so it's too late now. I can't believe I thought Carl was a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Who are the white guys? Like ghosts or what? Oh. Coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow. On the program. Mother. Yeah, hey everybody, it's the commercial. Today we watch birds' videos of naked bike riding. Yeah, we watched about 14 plus minutes of people riding bicycles in the news. Alright, so we talked to Mr. Ginsu. He's mad about EBT and insurance. He yells a lot. Call the number there. Watch the show, thank Give you. Give us a call, please. Want to hear from you? It's a good time. Bye. Back. <laughs> hey, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're back. Oh. Back to the program. Uh -oh. With okay. Freddie on the phone. Yeah. Well, John Webster was trying to call. What were we talking about? Uh, fireworks. Are you gonna call? John. Oh yeah. Yeah. We shoot up fireworks. Have you ever, have you ever gotten a dangerous? in a dangerous situation with fireworks that would be almost blown off your hand. No, have you? No, I did shoot someone with the, uh, or I'll shoot someone with a, not a bottle rocket, what's the one? A uh, Roman candle accident. Oh. I've been hit by Roman candles before. Yeah, there's lots of Roman candle accidents I've heard of. Because people shoot them at each other. Oh. I've been hit by them. They don't hurt if they bounce off you, but sometimes I wouldn't they like stick that. to you, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of it hit it hit their skin and it burned it burned the person a little bit. Oh. Uh, luckily, luckily they were my peer. You know, it wasn't like I burned a kid or burned an adult. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. If you're gonna burn somebody, burn your peers. That's always sure. better. A little bit. Then he can burn you back. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. Oh man, there's an episode of the program where we explore the ketchup packet with a rock, with a, uh, with a, uh, what Black is it? Cat. What are those called? Yeah. That's uh, cool. It that's vaporized all the ketchup into the air. I think that wow. was, I think that was last year's 4th of July episode. Oh. Oh, cool. It's getting up there. It's going to be on 2 a.m. for your viewers. Maybe you'll see it. Yeah, maybe we should get some, uh. Oh, yeah, some, that, some guests. I was on last year's Gay Pride uh, episode, and today I'm on this year's Gay Pride, Gay Pride episode. It's pretty oh, weird. Oh, really? Yeah. I think, oh yeah, the episode the episode where we blow up ketchup packets is going to be on <laughs> Thursday the 27th. Why don't you blow mustard packets? We didn't have any. Oh. Maybe you can bring oh, some. Oh, funny, right, because it's the it's week, week before 4th of July. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll try to get some, um, more, some more stuff on this Fourth of July episode. We'll try at least. Why don't you maybe bring the Roman candle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring some Roman candles yeah. for each other. All right. Hey, thanks, Freddie. Hey. I'm gonna call John Webster. He's trying to c talk to us. Cool. Did thanks. You, uh, say hello to John for me. Did I'm, you see him I'm at Gay Pride? He was there apparently. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for calling me today. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.
Okay, there he goes. Bye, Freddy. We're going to call John Webster now again. Uh, he should be up still. It kind of looks like you're running out of battery. Yeah, it'll be okay. Maybe look. Yeah. Well, he left it in a message. Did he? Oh, yeah, but then we gotta listen to the message and play as a message on. You could also unplug that thing. Oh, good idea! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here, let's go back to them. I'll go, I guess How I'll much go time do we have left? We have about 12 minutes. We haven't oh, played no. the new game yet. What? Just wondering. We haven't even played the, uh, the, the last dice game yet, so. Mm -hmm. Last dice game is 10 minutes before the end of the show. Mm. Maybe John will play it with us. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back and try to listen to this message. I never thought about unplugging the phone. That is smart <laughs> thinking. Yeah. There it goes. John Webster. You see anything on the news? Um. Um. I don't typically watch oh yeah kim kardashian and her baby oh yeah <laughs> she's gonna name it north yeah west. it's named as northwest just like, where, just like where we are yeah it's like a tribute to us but i don't think she's ever been or they don't really go up here and they don't seem like washington kind of people yeah i don't know probably weird. not i don't think that they're naming it after the northwest i think they just like the name but they're not thinking that it's yeah 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 hey Jerry, good for you today it was really funny when i was in uh california i was on a uh, the, m the freeway, the main freeway, and I kept thinking I was going to see a celebrity on the freeway, like the Kardashians, but I didn't. I'm listening to this message. Keep talking about something. <laughs> mm. Or do you want to listen to the message? In California, we ate lots of sushi, and now I don't like sushi. Well, I like it, but it's not the same anymore. Um, oh, he didn't say his number. No. Yeah, he did. It's only if you call. Oh. His cell phone thing, but then he's got to answer. Yeah, he doesn't. He shouldn't answer. Yeah. Why do? Why does he want his house phone? Why? Why does he want us to call? If we call him his house house phone, it's not going to use his minutes. Yeah, but it's after like nine, so it shouldn't use minutes anyway. Well, maybe he doesn't have that kind of a uh, program. Is yeah, some people don't have that kind of yeah. service plan, you know. Um. And I didn't see anyone famous in California. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, the Kardashian, they just had their baby. It's really weird to me because I feel like Kim Kardashian got pregnant and had her baby way fast. I feel like the Queen of England has been pregnant for like a year, but she hasn't because Kim had her, ba her baby first. But So, I don't she know. She's only pregnant for nine months. I know, but I feel like the Queen of England has been, there's been, like, pregnancy stuff about her for, like, a year. Uh -huh. And so it kind of seems like it's been longer. So it's, it's very shocking to me that Kim had her baby first. So, because there's stuff in the, in the press about the, the Queen being pregnant first. So uh -huh. that's why I'm like, oh, that's weird. But I guess she's, uh... And Kim actually had a baby early because she had sicknesses. So, yeah. She it was was it preemie? Mm-hmm. Mm. Was it She's only four pounds. Is it was it healthy though? Yep, she went home from the hospital today. <laughs> I watch E a lot, so I know. 
Uh, I watch E! News, so it's still news, but it's just more entertaining, maybe. I don't know if this is it. This is, it might be John. Okay. This is labeled J <laughs> in the phone here. I don't know if this is actually John No, or not. maybe it's J, like a person. Maybe it's like a person named J. Amy, I'm unavailable, but if you leave Uh-oh. a message with phone number. Uh-oh, I don't know who that was. I really like the name J uh, for a person's name. Like J and Silent Bob here? Okay. Last dice game. Here we go. Really? Yes. You can roll it. All right. Here we go. Test your faith with the dice game. This is for Jesus. Remember Jesus, who favors. For Christ. Who Christ favors the most. Who do? You, who does he love? What did we roll last time? Maybe he loves five everyone. Five and six, right? Two, five, and six so far, I think. I. Yep. I think he's gonna show some people some love. Here we go. So if if you pick a number out there and, he, and your number was shown, that means that he's just showing you some extra love today. Oh, uh, I won. Jesus, thanks. Whoa, Jesus. he's showing you some love today. I feel blessed. Whoa. God bless you, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for letting me win this game. I know that you want me to win. He gave you a little treat. Treat. Does Jesus control gambling? No. No. I don't think that's really gambling because there's n there's no prize. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just like, it's just like a probability. Um. I don't know how we're gonna call John. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna call John on the cell phone and tell him that we have our new local numbers that he can call us. Okay. That would probably be a nice thing to do. Yeah. He might be like waiting by his house phone expecting us. And if we, he doesn't answer this time, then I'm going to listen to his message and get the number off of it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah. You don't like it? <laughs> hey, John, um, I can't find your house number. Do you know that we have a new 360 area code? Okay, okay, bye. <laughs> he, he's very uh, active. Yeah. D do you know it now? Do you know it now? Yeah. Whoa. You have very good ears. You couldn't hear that? No, it's like, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Yes. Hey, John. Yep. How you doing? Fine. Uh, your program just kind of started when I was on turn, turn two now. Uh, oh, are you watching it? I'm going to turn it right now. Turn, uh... uh. Yeah, are you uh, seeing us? <laughs> Is it working? There's a power station. The uh, 26 is a power station. Uh huh. There, right there. Oh, there you are. I can hear you. It's Alex. She's here again. Yeah. Again. And you're drinking, uh, what are you drinking? Well? I'm not sure, what am I, what is it? You uh, tell me. Play soda. Play S, S, P. Play S, P. S, P? <laughs> yeah, S, P. Play S, P. S, P. Right under the phone, right under the phone number. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do it. Okay, he was like so happy and like acting like all, you know. That's our episode. <laughs> yeah, that was from last week. Hey, uh, John, how was Gay Pride? Like, she talks to the pastor guy that John? <laughs> yes. How was, how was Gay Pride? Did you have fun? Yep, I, I was up and down at the burger booth. Uh, uh, we have a new tra trailer. It's really uh, decorated up now. It, uh, we had it right by the hotel. And the select, all the booze, all the booze were there in the parade, pride parade that started at uh, 12 noon, came down, from, started from the state capitol. Did you see, uh, 
who is all the queers and everything. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that a bad name? And I thought. I don't uh, think so. Oh. Did you see? I saw all the queers. How was the drag? How are the drag queens? Did you see the drag queens? What? The dry clean? What do you mean the dry clean? The the tra the uh the cross dressers. What do you the mean the cross What do you mean the cross dresser? The men the men in dresses. Oh, did you think they were girls? Oh yeah. How was that? Yeah. Wasn't that fun? Um. Yep. Did you did you get a hamburger? What are they called? Demo burger. Demo. Yeah, and I'll tell you what the. I'll tell you what the menu is. Uh, let's see, where is it now? Uh, <laughs> all right, I have to get it. Right now. I have to get it. Uh, I'm going to interrupt. Uh, into. No, uh. have, have you been Have you been watching the show, John? Oh yeah. Did you see? You know, you're in the credits now. Woo! Uh, oh, not, uh, not, not today, anyway. Yeah, you're in the credits. You put your picture in the credits. Uh, let's see, where is it? Did, <laughs> you, did, did you know that your, your picture is in the credits? Yeah, it's at the end of the show, so you gotta watch the whole thing, and then at the end you'll see yourself. Uh, I think he's looking for the, um, for the menu. Oh, for the demo burgers menu, you have one? What are you doing, John? Are you looking through your files or something, or what? I'm right here in the... my box, uh... What? John, what are you doing? <laughs> are you looking for a menu? What? <laughs> You know that we got a new phone number, so now you can call us from your home phone without having to pay the money. Yeah. No. No? I've been having trouble with my, I've been having trouble with my, uh, this damn t cable. Oh, really? What is it, what is it doing? Oh, it did, uh, I don't know if it's loose or, no, that's not it. Where is that, uh, are you looking for a plug to plug back in to fix your cable? What? No, you can hear it. You can hear it. I can hear that you're watching the show. Yeah, are you so intrigued by it? It's so entertaining. Uh, where is that? Yeah, I can't find it. Oh, don't worry about it. Hey, John, what what did you see at Pride Day that was fun? Like, anything, any standout of uh, things? What was your I favorite part? I see Bird down at the, where, where he was, uh, yeah, for, uh, for the, what, the, uh, I can't find. Yeah, that, um. Well, hey, it's, it's, it's the end of the show, uh, John. We made it through another episode. Thanks, Bird and Freddy and Alex and, uh. And you, John. And John, thank you, John. What? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we made it to the end of the show. Jesus, for it. Yeah, did, for you. This isn't about Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. Uh, and... Uh, You're a uh, true friend. Oh, I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have the uh, Black Fair. We Five, just have... We have the... Got a new, me new, two, men got a new menu uh, here. What's cool. up, John? That's the new menu. Number 1008. Thanks, food. What's on the menu? Thanks, TV. Food. I brought it, brought it with me, so. Television. Uh, TVs. Computer. What's the good have? Uh, Internet. Facebook yeah, and Twitter and YouTube. Thank you. And the website. Check out the website. Yeah. Okay. Phones. Thanks, phones. Yellow burgers. Uh, corn. Landlines. All beef patty. Covered uh, in grilled. Uh, grilled and in. Oh, uh, John, you're making me hungry. Thanks, uh, USA, uh, double, Washington uh, State, Thurston uh, County. America. Uh, 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 Vivid.com, check it out. Uh, Crystal Ball. And then there's a friend called Jordan New, e. uh, new, new, TV. new, new, new. Here's John. Damn. There you are, John. Whoa. Hell so yeah, cool. John. 
bye bye. See ya. Okay, I, don't, uh, uh, I want to talk to you still.